Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, welcome. My name is Evelyn. So for today's video, we're doing something a little different. I wanted to go into detail on how I plan and design my makeovers, specifically my most recent makeover, which was my guest bedroom. I get so many questions asking how I know which colors and textures go together. So I'm going to go through my entire design process with you guys. I also wanted to give you guys some tips and ideas on how you can make your bedroom look designer. So the first part is going to be kind of my design process what I use, how I plan my makeovers, and the second part is more tips on how to design a bedroom and make it look expensive. So without further ado, let's get started. The very first thing I do and recommend doing when starting a makeover is creating a mood board. Go on Pinterest, search the room that you are going to be designing, and start gathering lots of inspiration. Start saving everything that catches your eye. Now a tool that I specifically use is Milano, and it's great because you can add a web clipper to your browser, and when you're on Pinterest, you can hover over the picture and save it to your project board. That way you can easily create a mood board. I'm someone that loves having everything in one space, so Milano has been my go-to, and a huge thank you to them for sponsoring today's video. Milano is a tool to organize any creative project you are working on, and I have been using it for all my current projects, as you can tell by my main board. I even started using it to plan and organize my videos for YouTube and also Instagram, so it's so nice because I can have everything in one place. It's truly like a digital version of a vision board where you get to organize and plan all your ideas, goals, creative projects. And if you don't know where to start or if you're struggling in creating a mood board, Milano does offer over a hundred built-in templates for any creative project you're working on. So it's super helpful because you can just use any of their templates to get started. This is where I designed my bedroom makeover. So we are going to head into my bedroom project board. That way you guys can see the process that I went through to bring my vision to life. So like I mentioned, you are able to save everything you see on Pinterest to your project board. So when you go on Pinterest, you hover over the post and you're going to see the Milanote web clipper. You click it and then you add it to your desired board and when you head on over to your project board, it's going to be right there. So here is the mood board that I created for my guest bedroom. I saved everything that caught my eye and once you are done looking at your inspiration, go back and start looking at the similarities. Is there something in common? What specifically did you like from what you saved? For me, I noticed that I wanted something moody. I knew that I wanted some sort of wall treatment, specifically shiplap. So I added notes to remind me of what I specifically liked. I knew I wanted a quilt so I added that note. I wanted floor to ceiling drapes so I made that little note. Again I knew I wanted a shiplap wall and a huge similarity that I noticed is color drenching which is a trend where you paint all the walls in the room the same color so I knew I wanted to do that. Also pay close attention to the colors you are drawn to that way you can create a color palette and look for products that are similar to that palette that you like. Okay so once you have an idea of what you like start creating lists such as a to-do list a products list, even a list of textures you want to include in your space. I created a few, so I have my to-do list right here of the general things that I wanted to do in my space. I also created another list with the textures I wanted to include. I knew I wanted to incorporate wood, wicker, linen, greenery, metals, and some sort of knit texture to my space. And a huge help for me was creating a purchase list, especially as a content creator. I need to make sure that I have everything that I need for my videos and to finish my space. So I created a purchase list on a separate board and a feature I love is that you are able to add boards within your main project board. It keeps everything organized and you just have everything you need right there. So as you can see I created a few different boards and one of them was that purchase list. So as you are looking for items you can again use that Milano web clipper to add them to that specific board and it allows you to have everything you wish to purchase all in one space. You have all the links, the pictures, you can even create a list so that you don't forget what you are looking for, what you need. Truly think of items that are going to bring your space together. I was very intentional with what I needed, what I wanted to purchase. I made sure that I had a spot for every specific item that I was going to purchase. Again, when you are looking for items, think about textures. Textures will make your space look so visually interesting. This will help you in not picking out the same items with the same texture because if you do that, it can make your room feel a little bit dull. So you want to make it look very visually interesting. As you can see here, I added a wicker pendant light. I also knew I wanted some linen sheets so I added that on there. Like I mentioned I wanted some sort of knit texture so I added a throw blanket. So it's just very nice that I had all the items that I wanted to buy in one place. I also created a few other different boards. I knew I wanted to incorporate some sort of DIY so these were my ideas. I wanted a vintage skinny bench, some sort of sparse tree, and also a rustic planter. And for my accent wall I knew I wanted either shiplap or picture frame molding so I created a mood board for both of them. 
I also knew that I wanted color drenching so I created a mood board for that and as you can tell I was really into the color brown so I went and searched for a few paint color options and I added them right here to my main project board so I was in between stampede briar wood and rolling pebble and I went with rolling pebble and I love it it has the perfect undertone and it was just nice having the colors right here with my mood board and the items that I wanted to purchase because it kind of gave me an idea of what it would look like together if you are someone that likes to receive feedback on your ideas or your design Milano does have a collaboration feature where you can invite someone to see your project board or if you are working on someone's space you can collaborate with them so if you want a second opinion on your design or someone to give you feedback you can definitely do that with Milano you can even leave a comment asking a question or asking for feedback on a specific part of your design they'll be able to see what you are talking about so that is basically how I plan how I organize all my makeovers I love having everything in one spot so I love using Milano and Milano is available for free with no time limit you can sign up using the link in the description box to get started on your next creative project all right so now that I got to share how I plan and organize my makeovers I wanted to share some tips on how you can make your room look expensive and designer so I have a few tips and the very first tip that I have for you guys is figuring out your space and your layout the very first thing that I took into account was how big the room was I knew I had a small space that I was working with so I started thinking about what furniture I could fit in there I knew I was able to fit a bed and nightstands and maybe some sort of bench unfortunately a dresser would have been way too big so I didn't even think about looking for one or sourcing a dresser so really take into account what can fit into that space think about the layout that you want to do and it's going to help you move on to the next step now if you really want to make your bedroom look very expensive I would consider doing some sort of wall treatment not only is it going to add so much visual interest it's even going to help draw your eye up and there are so many options to choose from there is shiplap like I did there's picture frame molding wainscoting there's lime wash plaster so many to think of so really consider doing some sort of wall treatment so that it looks very high-end and designer next up is paint are you looking to add some moodiness to the room do you want it to feel very bright and airy really consider multiple colors test paint swatches on different walls so that you're able to see it in different lighting also pay close attention to the undertone of the paint it can sometimes transform what it's going to look like in your space so really look at the undertones for example I chose a brown with a green undertone so sometimes it even looks green and I don't mind it I love how it looks and that's why I created a color palette so that way I knew what items to purchase that would go with that undertone the next tip is adding a rug a rug is really going to help you ground a space kind of like how a coffee table and a tray helps ground decor and make it look very intentional that is what a rug will do to your space it's going to make it look intentional and I wouldn't do anything less than an 8x10 if you look closely at what designers do they do really big rugs even for living rooms like I mentioned it's really going to help ground a space and make it all come together I know a lot of bedrooms already have carpet and that cozy feeling but I would still consider adding a rug my bedroom had carpet and I still added one and I feel like it really brought the space together and made it look complete another thing to consider is lighting lighting can make such a difference in a space it can help add depth textures and even draw your eye up to the ceiling you can add a pendant light I opted for seagrass and it added so much texture you can also add lamps or sconces to your nightstands if you want a traditional look then I would go for table lamps and when you are considering a lamp make sure that it doesn't take up more than half of your nightstand that way you can also add some sort of book a tray a carafe some sort of decorative object sconces are a great option if you want more room on your nightstand they are also something more unique and visually interesting next up we have furniture think about the style of bed you want to bring into your space what type of style you're going in the room if you went with a darker paint then i would go with a lighter bed like an upholstered bed if you went light on your walls then maybe i would consider a wood bed for example i went dark on my walls and i wanted to brighten the room back up so i went with a lighter upholstered bed and for my nightstand since i did a fabric for my bed i went with wood so once you pick out the main furniture pieces that's when you're going to be able to start thinking about all the accent pieces that you want to bring into your space and by accent pieces i mean trees benches chairs all that fun stuff a tree is a great option because it helps bring life into a space it also adds height and some color to your room you can also add an accent chair in the corner if you want to add a different element or if you don't have room like me then you can consider a bench I did a vintage skinny bench and I love that it doesn't take up a lot of space but it still adds a different element another accent piece to consider are curtains specifically floor to ceiling curtains it gives the illusion of tall ceilings of a big window they also add so much coziness and it truly makes it feel very 
very designer. You see so many designers do this and it's just that wow factor when you walk into a room. Last but not least, what helps bring the whole room together are styling pieces like decor, bedding, pillows, throws. This is what makes your design look cohesive and put together. For a bed, I would consider a duvet, a quilt, a throw blanket, and pillows with different patterns. For your nightstands, you can do again table lamps. You can add decor bugs, floral arrangements, little trays for your jewelry. You can add a carafe, a candle, just small decorative objects that don't take up too much space. You don't have to buy new either. Look on Facebook Marketplace. You can find so many used and sometimes new items that go for a lot less than retail prices. Consider going to thrift stores for all the little decorative objects. You can also sell all the items that you no longer use or need on Facebook Marketplace. Make a little bit of money and then you can use that money to then purchase items that you really love. DIYs are also a great option if you want to be creative and transform something you already have or make your own accent piece. You don't need a huge budget to give a space a makeover or a refresh. It can be done on a budget. All right, you guys, that concludes today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed my design process and all the tips that I had to share. I'm glad I finally get to answer you guys' question on how I plan and bring my vision to life. I will leave the link to Milanote down below so that you guys can sign up and use it for free with no time limit. And I quickly wanted to say thank you so, so much for 60,000 subscribers. I can't believe we hit this milestone and I just can't express how grateful I am for each and every one of you for just subscribing, liking, commenting, watching my videos. It means so, so much to me. So thank you so much. Anyways, I appreciate all of you so much for being here. Thank you so, so much for watching and until next time. Bye.